your side. WBRC Fox 6 News starts with breaking news. Right now, crews are still trying to put out a fire in Helena after a pipeline explosion. At least seven people hurt. Right now, the fire, though, is contained. Colleen Van Sant with the Alabama Forestry Commission says she does not believe any structures are in immediate danger. Several fire departments responded to this explosion. Our Jamise Price is near the scene tonight. Jamise, you are at a home in the area. They are not too far away from each other. That's right, Bree. I am at Whispering Pines Lane. This is the top of Hill. Ed Vining's lived here. He sent his wife a text earlier today showing her pictures of the fire and said, hey, look how close this is to our home. Just too close for comfort for Ed and his family. A lot of people in this community also feeling the same. Ed has lived in this home for 20 years. He's concerned about Colonial Pipeline. First, that gas leak, and now this explosion. The pipeline runs through this property, and he's afraid to know what could happen next. Well, we're all held accountable to something. That, I mean, twice? That's a lot. So that's have something like this. I mean, it could be catastrophic. I mean, gas exploding and explosions. And uh, my wife and I smell smoke around 7. I don't know if it had anything to do with this, but about 7 o'clock when she left for work, and uh, I smell off and on until I went to get my daughter. Now Ed went to pick up his daughter around three and that's when he could really see those flames as fire continues to burn. Not as uh, large as it was earlier today. There's just a small orange ball, a small orange ball of flames at this point as this fire has been burning for the last six hours. In Shelby County, Jamise Price, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side. Thanks, Jamie. At least seven people were injured after an explosion and fire at the Colonial Pipeline Gasoline Company in Shelby, Alabama on Monday. Gigantic plumes of smoke and fireballs could be seen in the air. Local government officials said a nine-person crew had been conducting maintenance work on the pipeline at the time of the explosion. The company shut down its main gasoline and distillates pipelines as a result, the second time in two months that it's had to close the crucial supply line, which serves the U.S. East Coast. The pipeline was out of service for more than 12 days after a massive gasoline leak in September of this year, which drove up gas prices at the pump in the southeast and on futures markets. On Monday, gasoline futures jumped 13 percent on news of the explosion. Colonial is the largest U.S. refined products pipeline system and transports gas, diesel and jet fuel from the Gulf Coast to the New York Harbor area.